Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to change colors in DaVinci Resolve. If you're new to the channel, my name is Garrett Harding and I make videos about DaVinci Resolve, how to use it and whatnot, how to edit. So if you're into that sort of thing or if you're trying to learn, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of the knowledge that I'm bringing your way. Let's jump into the video. All right, so here we have our footage that we're going to be changing. I grabbed this from Pexels.com, which is a stock photo and video site where a lot of this stuff is free, which is pretty awesome. So this is just a video of a hummingbird coming up to a feeder. It's gonna go ahead and take a munch out of there. We don't want this to be red though. We want this to be some other color. So what we're gonna do, as you can probably guess, is pop into the colors panel. And then once we're here, we're gonna make sure that we have this clip selected. And then we're going to come down to this little eyedropper right here. Go ahead and click on that and then if you come back up onto the actual image itself you'll see that you have an eyedropper so we're going to grab this red color that it currently is and then we're going to hit shift h so we can see what we've selected we're going to adjust our qualifier down here which is what the eyedropper is called it's a qualifier so we're going to adjust this so that our whole thing here is in focus if we get a little bit out here don't worry about it it's not a big deal we'll fix it in a minute so we're going to adjust our width on our color so that we get more colors. We don't really need that orange. And we're going to change our saturation. Bring it up and bring it down. There we go. That's what we were looking for. So now that we have our color pretty well selected, we're going to draw a mask around it. So we're going to go into our power windows window or tab, power windows tab right here. And we're going to grab the pen tool and we're going to do a rough mask around where our color is being changed and this will make it so that we don't get any of everything that's going on out here well if you make the same mistake i did and you do this on the the master node essentially you're going to want to go ahead and right click you're going to want to add node add serial before that way we will still have everything showing up and now we have this masked out what we're going to do for this is change the hue. Change the hue, we're gonna be able to change the color to just about any color we want. If we want a little bit more control though, you can use your offset wheel here and you can pick intensities and make it brighter or darker. You can change the gain if you only wanna change the highlights. You can change the lift if you only wanna mess with the shadows and leave the highlights a little bit more how they were. But for what we are doing here, we're just gonna use the hue slider. We're gonna go ahead and make it purple. We're going to hit shift H again to get rid of that gray. And then as you can see, it's purple now. It's seriously that easy. You just, you have your bird come in, drinks from a purple feeder instead of a red feeder. If we turn all that off and go like this, it's red again. But if we run it through here, purple. It's seriously that easy. If this was moving, you would want to do essentially the same thing, except you're probably going to want to track your power window. I have videos up about that. I'll link one up above and also in the description down below. So if you need to learn how to track, go check that out. But if you're just looking to change a color, that's how you do it. Hopefully this taught you everything that you were looking to know. If it didn't, let me know in the comments down below. Actually, also, if it did, let me know in the comments down below. It's always nice to hear from you guys. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.